I was asked how I got the SSL UF8 to work in Cakewalk by BandLab. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how I did that. And the first thing you want to do is open up your SSL 360 software, and then you want to click on this little gear icon here. And if this is the main DAW that you're going to be using, you can set up DAW1 as it. This is the second DAW for me that I'll be using, but I have both set to Studio One. And you can choose one of the other ones in here. I was using Ableton Live for a bit, but I noticed some of the buttons were causing Cakewalk to crash when I would push them. And with Studio One, I didn't run into that problem. And you wanna make sure you notice which ports it uses. So for me, DAW 2 is ports five to eight, and mainly we want that first one, port five. If it's DAW 1 for you, then just take note of port one, it's that easy. So let's go into Cakewalk. Then you want to go up to edit preferences and in the MIDI section, you go to devices. If you're using it for DAW one, then you would want to select SSL V MIDI port one. I'm using it at for DAW two in the software. So I'm using SSL V MIDI port five. And then you want to make sure you have SSL V MIDI port five selected in your output. So make sure there's a check mark beside each of those. And then we want to go down to control surfaces and you can see, I already have mine set up in here, but you're setting up new. So you want to click on this little button up here and you want to change control surface to Mackie control, not Mackie control C4 or XT. You want it to be Mackie control. And if you have other MIDI ports enabled in the MIDI devices section, they may show up here. So you might have to click in here to change it to whatever port you're using. But if that's all you have selected in there, then it's going to show up automatically for input and output. So change this if you have to, and then you can click OK. I've already done that, so I'm not going to click OK. But once you do, you'll have it here. So you want to click on it. And you want to make sure that this check mark is in this W section here, W A I. So you want to make sure that's checked. And then down here, you want track view and console view checked right there. And over here, you want all strips checked. And once you have that done, click OK or apply to get out of here. And then you want to restart Cakewalk. So Restart it, open up a project, and we'll jump into that. I'll show you how to put this into transport mode so you can control these transport buttons here. You just hold down this channel knob. We're now in transport control, and if I press up, that's play. If I press down, that's stop. In the middle, that is record if we had anything record enabled. And then we can scroll through our song using these buttons here. You can also make sure you have nav pushed in right there, and you can use the channel to scroll through as well. And you'll notice in this project, I have five tracks in there and they all show up in here. So I can control the volume of the tracks. I can control the panning on each one. And if I press record and then select, I can arm whatever track I want for recording and then hit record. And then another thing I should have mentioned is because I'm using this as DAW2, I have the two button pushed there. If you're using yours as DAW1, then you'd want to make sure DAW1 is selected. If you're using it as DAW3, then you want the three button selected right there. It's pretty straightforward and features like the plug-in control, they won't work in Cakewalk. It's just really going to allow you to control the EQ and the pro channel strip. And that's about it. You can't control anything else, but you can control plugins using the channel and the focus button. I'll show you how to do that right now. So you can see I have this CLA 76 loaded up here. If I want to control the input with this knob, I just press focus and I hover the mouse over top of whatever control I want to control. And now if I turn this, you can see I'm controlling the input. If I move this over here to the output, I can control that any of these control settings here. It doesn't work so well with these buttons over here. So I can't control those, but any of the knobs, it controls them perfectly. And then of course you can turn that off, go back to navigate feature and we're navigating. We're no longer controlling those buttons. It's that easy. 
Now, some of the other features, like when you press these soft keys here, it changes what it says at the top. And that's what these buttons do. So if I go to one, that puts it into transport mode at the top and those work. So you can see we can use the transport mode there. If I go here, it has some other things, but yeah, a lot of these extra features most likely won't work in Cakewalk. Maybe one day they'll come out with some mappings for it within the SSL 360 software. That would be awesome. I'm not really expecting it, but who knows, maybe they will do it. But the basic things to control your DAW and to start recording and that sort of thing, that can all be done in here. And also in your 360 program, if we go down to this control here and then we click over onto layer two, which is DAW two, but if you're using layer one or layer three, you would click on whatever one it is. You can set the quick keys, which are these three keys to control popular computer keyboard shortcuts. So things like save or undo, we can set that up in here. So if we wanted to say use key one right there, we would click on this and then you would go to keyboard command. And then on your computer keyboard, let's say we want it to be save. We would just press that control S, which is save, click close. And now that's going to be save. And you can change that, what it says there. So we can just put in save if we want. Now you can also use the UC one plugin controller with Cakewalk and any other DAW. If you want more information on the UC one, Check out the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.